Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading Disney's Winnie the Pooh. Does it float? Pooh and his friends were looking forward to a day filled with adventure. They were going on an expedition. Everyone was ready to set off. But where was Tigger? Look out! Coming through, called Tigger. He bounced out of the hundred acre wood, dragging something large behind him. What is it? asked Pooh. A raft, of course, Tigger replied, pushing it into the stream. This here floaty boat will get us where we want to go in no time. Are you sure it's safe? asked Rabbit nervously. Of course, Tigger said proudly. I made it myself. Once the raft was on the water, the friends climbed aboard, carrying a honey pot, inner tube, a basket of strawberries, butterfly net, pail, and a big round rock. In no time at all, they were on their way. Congratulations, Tigger, said Rabbit. Your raft floats nicely, indeed. Thank you, Long Ears, Tigger replied. So where are we going on this expedition, anyway? I don't know, said Rabbit. Do you, Pooh? Not very far, replied Eeyore, because our raft has decided to go on its separate ways. Rabbit looked down and saw the logs drifting apart underneath them. Oh dear, cry, he cried, we must get to shore. Land ho, shouted Tigger. He grabbed Piglet's butterfly net and used the handle to pull the rifty, rickety craft to the bank. The friends scrambled off just as the raft came apart completely. Everyone watched as the logs bobbed up or bogged, bobbed off in all directions. Hey, look, shouted Rue. Everything we brought with us is floating. Pooh's honey pot was floating. Tigger's inner tube was floating. Rabbit's basket of strawberries was floating. Piglet's butterfly net was floating, and Rue's pail was floating, too. Well, not everything we brought, Eeyore remarked. What do you mean? asked Pooh. My lucky rock, Eeyore replied. It's gone. Rue sc scanned the water. But where is it? he asked. At the bottom of the stream, I suppose, said Eeyore. I have a sinking feeling it's gone forever. Gee, that's one unlucky, lucky rock, Tigger remarked. Everyone gathered their things when they floated to shore. So much for our expedition, said Pooh. What we need is a new plan. Let's go to my house, Rue offered. Mama's Mama was making cookies when I left. An eating plan, exclaimed Pooh with delight. My favorite kind. Soon they were outside the door of the, of the tidy house, but the cookies were still in the oven. Why don't you bob for apples, suggested Kanga, until the cookies are done. The friends filled the tub with water and began their game. One by one, everyone took a turn trying to grab an apple in his mouth. It wasn't easy. The apples bobbed this way and that. Eeyore stood back and watched. Hmm, thought Eeyore. Logs float. Empty honey pots float. Inner tubes float. Strawberries float. A butterfly net floats, a tin pail floats, apples float, I wonder. 
Time for cookies, Kanga called out the window. While everyone headed inside, Eeyore went around back to Kanga's vegetable bin. He picked up a couple of potatoes in his mouth and dropped them into the wash tub. They sank. Next, he threw in some carrots. Down to the bottom of the tub they went. Why can't I get anything to float, wondered Eeyore. Kanga came to the door. What are you doing out here by yourself, Eeyore? She asked. Then she spotted the tub. Oh, making vegetable soup, I see. Well, come inside for cookies. You can finish later. Inside, Kanga brought out a big plate of cookies and poured glasses of lemonade with ice. No ice for me, said Eeyore. Mine always melts. He looked around the table and noticed that everyone's ice cubes were floating in their drinks. Again, Eeyore missed out on having something that floats. Eeyore, Eeyore eyed the sugar bowl. I bet I know something that will float, he thought. He plopped a sugar cube into his glass and watched it sink like a stone. I should have known that nothing can sweeten my luck, Eeyore said with a sigh. After their snack, the friends needed something to do. How about I build us another raft, Tigor, Tigger said, bouncing here and there. No, cried Rabbit, anything but that. Let's go find Christopher Robin, piped up Piglet. He always has good ideas. The friends walked through the Hundred Acre Wood looking for Christopher Robin. On the way, Eeyore saw the pond filled with floating leaves, a frog, and a lily pad bobbing gently on the pond. Eeyore sighed and wished more than anything that he could get something to float to. Finally, they found Christopher Robin sitting in a rowboat on the stream. Ahoy there, Christopher Robin yelled, waving to the friends. He began to row back to the shore to meet them. Eeyore watched as Christopher Robin's boat moved smoothly across the top of the water. The sight filled Eeyore with disappointment. Everyone has something that floats but me, Eeyore blurted out. Then he explained, or he, yes, then he explained about his rock and the vegetables and the sugar cube. Poor Eeyore, said Piglet. There must be something we can do to help, Rue added. We can, Pooh's, Pooh told them. Wait right here. Pooh sat down at his thinking spot. Think, 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 he told himself, tapping his head. I've got it, Pooh shouted suddenly. What everyone needs to solve, what everyone needs to solve his problem are friends to help them, to, to help him. Pooh hurried back to the bank where the others were waiting. I know what we are going to or what we are doing for the rest of the day, he announced. We are going to help Eeyore find a floating something to call his very own. That's an excellent suggestion, Pooh, said Christopher Robin. Thank you, replied Pooh proudly. I thought of it myself. Rabbit headed off one way and Tigger and Roo bounced in another. Then Pooh, Piglet, and Christopher Robin walked away together, leaving Eeyore standing by himself. I Excuse me, Eeyore said to one in particular, to, to no one in particular, but where should I be looking? For a while, or for a long while, the friends came and went. Rabbit arrived carrying a large toadstool Tigger delivered some wooden toy blocks. Rue brought a rubber ball. Piglet contributed a feather. 
Christopher Robin appeared with an armful of paper boats he had made. Eventually, a large pile of objects formed on the bank. Eeyore examined the collection, trying to decide which item to toss into the water first, but was soon startled by a chorus of shouts behind him. Eeyore! cried his friends, pointing at the stream. Look! Eeyore turned and saw a wonderful thing. His tail had come off and it was floating in the water. Christopher Robin patted Eeyore on the head. Well, what do you know, he says. Part of you floats, Eeyore. Eeyore smiled. I know. It's hard to believe, he said. But right now, I am so happy. I feel lighter than air. Christopher Robin chuckled. That's funny, he replied, because your tail is lighter than water. And we can learn from this, my friends, is that indeed, many things in our life float, while some things sink to the bottom. And we have to be okay with that and learn if we need things to float, get those, get those things that float. I thank you so much for listening. I hope you had as much joy listening as I had reading it to you. Thanks again for listening.